Hey guys, if you're new around here, my name is Hannah Martin and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about five things that I've done this summer to stay in shape, stay being happy, healthy and productive. Let's get right to it. So the first thing for me has been early mornings. 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m., 6 a.m., 6.30. I think the latest I've woken up this whole summer has been about seven o'clock. But for some people, this just isn't for them and that's totally fine. I just love getting up early so I can get all my work stuff out the way so I can spend the rest of the day with my family. Because of getting up early, I've been able to do the second thing, which is workouts. So I have enjoyed at least working out once a day, especially at the beginning of the summer, I was just working out, doing a core workout for about half an hour to an hour once a day. Now I've kind of increased my hours a little bit more while I prepare to go back to my ballet company. So 30 to 40 minutes on the cross trainer every other day. I try not to do it every single day because you guys know I'm rehabbing from a bit of an injury. And then I get on to my rehab exercises, which has been these feet exercises. I thought I would share some of my workouts with you, so these are a few of the exercises that I do. These three exercises I actually have to do twice a day, so I normally do it once in the morning and once in the evening. So here you can see the different exercises that I've been doing twice a day, which actually has been pretty full on, not gonna lie, but I know that it's building the strength that I need to go back to the ballet company. So. I'm excited to see the gains I'm making from this. Normally after doing my feet exercises, I will do my stretching routine. My full stretching routine is actually already uploaded on YouTube, so I will link that in the description if you guys wanna check it out. I don't show it all in this video, but you get an idea of the majority of the stretches that I'm doing. Also, I just wanna quickly pop in and say thank you to Fanka for sponsoring this video. Here I am wearing their pet hair free joggers, which I absolutely love but more on that later. Every other day I also do my leg endurance workout set by the physios at work. Um, this is quite intense, I remember the first day that I did it I was so sore. If you didn't see my holiday vlog that was the first time I did this workout that had been set for my rehab program and uh, yeah. Wall sits guys are just not fun, let's, let's be honest. Yep, I'm doing the Macarena while doing a wall sit because what else do you do when you're in that much pain? Uh, I'm not quite sure. I also do these leg glute bridges, but I didn't actually have a video, so I'm just using an old one. I also do progressive bowel technique. This particular day, I was feeling a little bit tired. I know a lot of you have asked for a PBT tutorial. Unfortunately, the exercises are copyrighted. They have a really good online platform where you can go and find the exercises for yourself. So I will link that down below. I super recommend it. I've done it pretty much every day since I've got back from holiday. On the day when I wanna switch things up a little bit because I've done a lot of PBT, I do Maria Horova workouts. I really love her core, her Pilates. She's got so much on there for low impact. So I really enjoy those. I also have been teaching private lessons three times a week. And the last workout that I'm gonna be talking about today is my wobble ball workout. This little set of exercises is just something I made up. Um, not really sure if it's that good, but I definitely find that it works my muscles and works my balance, which obviously I'm not working so much as I'm not in ballet class at the moment, um, because it's summer. And just a little heads up that I do not do all of these exercises every single day. I'm just giving you some ideas if you're at home and you wanna do some training over the summer. What's been nice for me this summer, especially after I had a couple of weeks of less training, was that I actually wanted to work out. Cause I realized that working out isn't just about making gains, making you know improvements to my dancing. That really gets your back. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It actually makes me feel good and happy inside. So when I don't do it, I really miss it. 
and it was nice to get to that place where I wanted to do exercise not to get better at dancing but to just enjoy moving my body. I had to be careful as I increased my amount of exercise that I wasn't once again getting back to a place where I was just exercising because I felt like I had to instead of because I wanted to. So that's something I've been trying to focus on doing this summer is exercising because I enjoy it, not because I feel the need that I have to do it. Talking about workouts, it's super important to keep fueling yourself even during the summer. So I thought on here I would share two of my classic recipes. I mean, most of you have seen the porridge recipe to death. I mean, some of you are now like, I am just so sick of your porridge. And I'm like, I understand that. I totally get that but it's kind of just part of me so uh, if you don't like porridge I would advise to skip the next 30 seconds of this video although you will miss out on a pretty epic porridge montage but porridge has definitely been an everyday occurrence in my summer I know a lot of you always ask for the recipe so I will add it on here but another thing I wanted to say was I have Try to keep it consistent with my meals during the summer, so enjoying foods that I love, which obviously I love porridge and I love the salad that you're going to see in a minute as well. Also what's been really fun is getting to share some of my favourite meals with my family. So recently I have been making this porridge for my mum and my brother and the salad I've actually been making for my entire family. So getting to share some of my favorite recipes I make at home with others is just a super special experience. And it just makes meal times so much more fun. I know that summer can be quite a difficult time for people getting their nutrition in. This summer, my approach to my nutrition has kind of been keeping a lot of my meals the same and then having a meal out here and there. My dad makes these incredible HelloFresh meals in the evening. so. Like, still getting it to experience new foods, fun foods, alongside the healthy everyday that I enjoy eating. I haven't included a video of my peanut butter and banana on sourdough, but you best believe I've been having plenty of that this summer. And also have been really enjoying this homemade banana bread that my mum made out of oats. As I'm also trying to create more balance in my life, I am actually trying to prioritise eating out with friends and family, because I think it's a super important way to enjoy your life and it makes me a more happy and balanced human. This leads me very nicely onto my fourth thing that I've done this summer which is prioritizing family time. For so many years I have prioritized working out, doing my training over spending time with my family but this summer I've tried to challenge myself to always say yes to things that my family are doing even if I had planned to do a workout or just make sure I get up early so I can work out around my family time and not during it so this has been a really lovely time for me to grow close to my family and really enjoy them to the full without always feeling like I need to be working out. Fifth thing is gonna sound strange in context to this video as things I do to stay in shape during the summer but I've never really had the chance to enjoy clothes because I've always been so focused on my training but I found that Finding clothes and outfits that I enjoy wearing and make me feel good has motivated me more to work out and to eat healthy. Life is really about balance and that's not to say to go and buy a ton of outfits but just even clothes that I had had before I suddenly was able to enjoy them way more than I'd ever done before which leads me on to talking about Fanka. Hey guys, just popping in this part of the video to thank Fanka for sponsoring this video. I only recently bumped into their activewear and I absolutely love wearing them. The video is all about things I've done to feel good this summer. Part of that has been wearing clothes that I enjoy and love to wear. Fanka has been a part of that. They come in these like little packages and I don't know if you can see this. Again, adds the experience when you order something online, the way it comes in the packaging is like all, all part of it. Lift and curve leggings. Fanka is a fabric technology oriented apparel brand devoted to making people's lives better and guys just a heads up if you use my code hannah12 then you can get 12% off your order with fanka which i think is an incredible opportunity so make sure to check out the link in the description what i love about these particular ones high waisted so they just really feel like you're scooped in there like, nice like design around the knee i don't think it will pick up on camera oh you can't see them this is great for like working out especially when i'm doing stuff i like to see the shapes a little bit more i'd like to see where my lines are my favorite item from them has definitely been Pet hair free joggers. I feel like everything I have is either black or it's white. Like it's very plain colors. Whereas this is like a kind of 
purpley. I also love the fact that they're like just a bit baggier. Some days, I'm not gonna lie guys, I would just prefer just to be in baggy clothes, especially in the summer. It's all about being comfortable and just like relaxed, especially when I'm at home working out. I just love how stretchy they are. Obviously it doesn't hug your figure quite like the other leggings do, um, but that's why I quite like, so it's just like a little bit more free, which I will wear these whether I work out or not. You guys know I practically live in like gym wear. I love these for my summer outfits. Thank you once again, Franca, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video of sharing some of the things that I've done this summer to stay in a happy, healthy shape. If you did, make sure to comment down below. Let me know what you've been doing this summer. I just find I'm at my happiest when I'm enjoying time with my family and super active. It just keeps those endorphins going and also eating like the healthy meals that I love makes me feel good. So I hope if you guys can relate to any of these things, comment down below, let me know. I always love to hear your thoughts. How has your summer been? Mine has definitely been a bit of a roller coaster, but that is another story for another day. I will see you soon in my next video. Make sure to dream big and make it happen.